we created the shadow currently in your screen in the previous video and now we want to see how to run our shadow and also customize the settings that scheduler provides so to run a shadow you want to have it loaded here first and you can load your shadow by going to file open shadow and you see a list of the shadows you have saved so this was the previous shadow we did run and then now we want to run the pitching shadow so we load the pitching shadow we select the event we want to start from you don't necessarily need to start from the first event but we will start from the first event here and then we click run shadow so our shadow starts running and then you can use the timer features which we covered in another video and in this we want to focus on showing you how to run the timer now which we have just done and also customizing the settings so let's close this window and return to the scheduler main window so if we go to the settings menu item we have uh, settings we can choose from we can change our theme change the font change the display change the mode change the time up text decide if we want to flash the time up select the sound if we want a sound to sound when the time is almost exhausted and uh, when that will sound for so let's change our team so we select our team and let's go for a say bright green okay we'll go back and then we'll run our schedule again so we have just changed the team of the timer so if we go back now we can also change our font so let's change our font and uh, say we select the October Crow I don't know how that would look like and then we'll run the shadow well this is a uh, not a very beautiful font but you get the idea you can change the fonts to please you the fonts are the fonts loaded on your system so let's close this and uh, go back to the font we're coming from this actually looks uh, scary so I think we're coming from this yes there you go so we can also select the display so right now let's say I want to show only the title and the time I don't want to show the next event I can do that and then I run and then you see the next event is no longer being displayed also I can go and say I want the time of the current event and the next event title to show I run it and I have the time and the next event showing also you can decide to go full screen mode where you show only the time so if you do that you have your five minutes as here you have only five minutes running and all the controls remain the same if you go to the next it goes to the next the controls remain the same the features hard time they all remain the same you 
know we could subtract time they all remain the same the mode of display just changes the other cool features there which you can explore on your own you could decide not to count down count up you could change the text of time up to say maybe times up or you could go time is up you could decide to flash uh, the time when time is up you could decide to have uh, a sound when uh, it's almost time up so you could select some sounds like the bubble gum the clock chime the tick tock as well as the ticking clock and you have the option to set when should the sound start so you could say okay just for the last 5 seconds or the last 60 seconds if you don't select any sound here nothing will actually sound so play around with these options before your event begins so that you get used to them and uh, there will be no surprises when uh, your event begins uh, thank you very much in the next video we will look at some features like the impromptu here we'll look at the analysis feature and we'll just touch on the documentation a bit uh, thank you